Good morning, all. Welcome to another fly tying video. Um, today we're tying base a basic stone fly. Uh, I'm going to be using a couple of different things. Uh, not really new, but never showed you guys before. Uh, this is my version of a stone fly, a golden stone. Okay. Um, <coughs> I just tied one earlier, right there. Utilized kind of like uh, some. Silly legs and also the lively legs product. But I'm gonna tie one just a little bit different. We use bias instead of uh, legs for the rear end. I'm not gonna put any in, and I'm not gonna put any in antennas in the front. So basically, start out with a the 200R size 10 hook. Okay, 200R size 10, and you're gonna use a size. Excuse me, 3.3 millimeter tungsten bead. Okay, so millimeter tungsten bead. Okay, and size 200R nifo. Okay, just on here. All right. All right. Put your bead on there. Get this on here. Okay. Um, if you want, which I think I may do, um, you could put, oh, excuse me, add it. You can add some weight to this if you want. This is totally optional. I want to put a little weight on here. Just like one, 1 1.5 millimeter lead wire. Okay. Six or seven wraps. Okay. Slide it up in there. Okay. Best best thing to do is just take some super glue. Okay. Just take some super glue. All right. Super glue. Put that on there. Let it dry. It'll dry. Okay. Want to use um, basically some yellow thread bean. This is, this is a golden stone, so yellow thread. What you're gonna want to use. Okay. There's my gold stone. Okay. Use some gold stone dubbing as well. Okay. So go to all right. Start it on there. Okay. Get it on there. Trim your tag. Okay. I don't want super glue. It's really nasty, nasty stuff. Okay, take some golden use by its amber color or golden, you know. All right. Get some good looking ones here. You know, the bites are gonna have a natural like curve. So the one side you want is gonna curve out, put it on one side of the hook. Again, neat trick I learned: if the thread doesn't want to cooperate, kind of spin it towards you. That's <coughs> good. <coughs> spin the thread. Okay, get the bite on there. All right. There's one bite. Okay. Again, you could use your um, silly legs on here like I did the one before this. You could use bias. I'm using bias just to kind of show you guys what what it looks like. All right, get that on there. Now you got that on there. Put that back up there. 
get your wire, your wire, or in this case, I'm using stuff I found, it's called a vinyl rib. There, so it's a vinyl rib. Makes really, really good segmentation with these flies. And I just whap my camera. I apologize for that, folks. Oh, let me see if I'm still, you have a good angle. Yep, still a good angle. All right. Okay. Get your vinyl rib. All right. Tied in. Okay. Tied in on the side. Be a good idea. Grab a hold of it. Oh my gosh. Things are being slippery this morning. Okay. Tied in. Get in there. All right. Now, again, um, golden stone fly dubbing. Less is more. Okay, put a little bit on. Gonna do a little bit at a time. You know, doesn't no big real big deal. Okay, a little bit of time. Make a nice, nice, nice body on this. Okay. Can you get your dubbing duo on here? Yeah. Again, just gonna get your heel up there. Uh. Okay, now take your vinyl rib. Okay. Ribbon. Okay. Probably about up right in there, in that area. Oh shoot. Yeah, watch you don't do what I just did. Just gonna probably screw up your ribbon. Make sure it's tied down good. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, get that tightened down. Okay, once you got that, okay, get your, now this is a product that I found, it's called a lively leg, I'll show you here why in a minute, find out what color I'm going to use, I'm going to use the, the burnt orange, this is what they are. Okay, it's called Lively Legs. It kind of just helps with the uh, getting movement, just putting the legs on the fly, which is really cool, okay? Um, you can do this like with other materials, but this is something that they come out with. It's, it's, it's really neat. Um, I've actually caught a pretty good amount of fish <coughs> with uh, flies I've had this product on. It's really cool. This kind of what it look, looks like individually. Oh, my God, you can see that. There's three legs, okay? Usually we don't use the back ones, we just use the front two. Unless it's a really big one. 
So what we're going to do, come in. Turn those back ones off. Put that aside because you're going to have to have a um, wing case for this. Again, you're going back to your thin skin. Okay, really good stuff. Um, I bought this multi-pack off gyms, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to use a... Like an olive color. It has like a molted, molted color. Okay. All right. Use a... A thin, cut a thin strip. Okay. All right, peel it off of the, the backing, which sometimes can be cantankerous, so. All right. All right, get that tied down. that on there you know get it tied now pretty good okay all right now you're going to take your lively leg take your lively leg tie it up. bring your thread back up to the front tie it in on that tab okay Tie the tab, okay, now. Kind of snake your, your uh, thread back, okay, tie the front. Tie in between, okay. And tie it in the back. Okay. All right, make sure that measures right. Okay. All right, and then snake it back up. Again, I want you to don't get your legs. Okay. Set that little tab off in the front. You're going to tie it down. Okay. Fold your, <coughs> excuse me, thin skin over top like so. Okay. Put it down. Bring it back. Tie it off. Okay. All right. Now you can, I kind of like to finish the front off with a little, not much, just a little tuft of your golden yellow, okay? Just not very much, just a very, very little amount, okay? Get it on there. All right. You gotta watch, you know, capture your legs, okay? Okay. Whip finish. Down. Okay. All right, and just a little bit of glue. Okay. What I like to do give the uh, wing case a little bit more protection. Is put a little bit of um my favorite stuff, <laughs> solar as on the back of this. So, on the wing casing itself kind of helps protect, you know, 
House Protect. One case. Wipe it with the light. <coughs> Just zap it for a few seconds, you know. Should be good. About 10, 15 seconds. Let's do that. That is my version of a Golden Stonefly uh, with a couple new products. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions for new flies for me, please don't hesitate to send me a text. All right. Have a good day and tight lines, everybody.